Hey guys, Ben here with the Easy Review. Today I want to do a budget baller episode. So, if you're just starting paintball and you really don't know what to get, this is going to be my uh, list of recommendations. First off, the number one investment you need to make in paintball is a good mask. Uh, these are my Dye I4s. Uh, they did not come with this lens. I bought that lens separately. But uh, anyway, they're not like you want a good mask because and number one, you should value your eyes over everything. Do not go to eBay and buy some knockoff mask because it's, you know, $40, $40 cheaper. Recently, there was a kind of a scandal with some dye I-4s uh, that were knockoffs. And whenever they actually got put up to the test, they took three paintballs and the lens shattered. Uh, so, yeah. These paintballs travel at 200 miles per hour. They shattered that lens. That lens is going to go into your eye. Or the paintballs are going to your eye, and I've seen somebody get hit in the eye with a paintball. They went to the hospital. They can't see out of that eye. So yeah, number one investment is a good mask. Make sure it's on brand, and uh, make sure it fits your head very well. Uh, even though I'm a big guy, this mask actually kind of goes perfectly onto my face. There's no, uh, you can't see any of my face after I put the mask on. Uh, so if you're worried about getting hit in the chin, you know. I don't think it's that bad, but a lot of people definitely don't want to get hit in the chin. And if you got kind of a long face, it's possible if you open your mouth, you're going to get what, hit in the tooth or something like that, and that would just suck. So make sure it fits your face well. Um, and my recommendation for masks would definitely have to be, um, at the very cheapest, go with the JT Proflex. Don't go any cheaper than that. Uh, JT Proflexes, I think, go for about 60 to $80 now. I think the $80 one comes with uh, two lenses, which is nice. I have, actually think one's a smoke, which is good if it's really sunny, and the other one's a, either a clear or, you know, kind of lightly smoked uh, lens. So you definitely would want to go with that. And plus they have the bottoms. I mean, obviously on these you can't flex them. They're called Pro Flex because you can flex the bottoms. Uh, and they actually, like, they kind of roll up. My friend has them. That's really nice. Uh, he actually plays with it rolled up because he doesn't really care if he gets hit in the mouth, and it's honestly, unless you're, I don't know, way out in the open, it's not very likely it's going to happen to you. Um, and he he just, he just values being able to breathe well over anything. Um, and that's another reason you want to get a good quality mask. If you ever use those rental masks, you know you can't breathe, and the lens is fog up no matter what the temperature is. I mean, like, honestly, like, the only time I've had these fog up on me is it had just finished raining, and it was super hot, so it was, like, steam. And it was, like, I was honestly, like, wasn't even really fog. It was just, like, steam on the inside of the mask, and that's just because of how hot it was and how humid it was. Um, so, yeah, definitely get a good mask. You don't want it to fail on you. And the number one thing, I should have said this at the beginning, but paintball is an investment. You cannot play paintball if you're not going to invest. And... With investments, you shouldn't be planning to replace them. So, don't go out and buy a $10 mask and say, I'm going to buy a $70 one later. You shouldn't do that. If you can't afford the $70 one, just wait and then buy the $70 one. Because if you spend that $10, you're putting yourself back. And you're not going to be able to sell that mask for more than like two. Because, uh, I mean, nobody wants a $10 mask except for a field that needs another rental mask. So yeah, definitely don't skimp on the mask. If you if you gotta skimp on something, don't skimp on the mask. So let's go to the next item. Now you'll notice I haven't said paintball gun, and I know I'm also at the very beginning of this, but I haven't said paintball gun because you don't need this yet. You will want to keep playing with rentals until you have a tank and a hopper. So let's go over tanks. Uh, once again, paintball is an investment. Don't skimp on these. You can buy those, uh, I don't really know how to describe their shape, but they're, you know, they, they start out, you know, as kind of like a cylinder, then they square out at the bottom. There's no, like, they aren't like a, they aren't like a full pill shape, I guess you might call it. Uh, they just square out at the bottom, and that's it. And, like, those are really uncomfortable. They're heavier, because usually they're made out of steel and not carbon fiber or another material that they use to make these um like uh and there are there are there is actually a brand of tanks called steelies and like you know they're known for ha making the steel tanks if you're okay with having the weight they make good tanks um but yeah 
you definitely want to get uh, spend good money on a tank. Uh, this one, I believe, cost me in the hundred dollar range. I was actually trading in as well one of those crappy tanks I just mentioned. The uh, you know square off at the bottom, super uncomfortable, super like, and they come in like one size. There's no peanut sized one that squares off at the bottom. They come in that one size, uh, and it was just an uncomfortable tank for me to have, and I wanted something really small, so I went with the peanut. And definitely when you're getting a tank. Uh, avoid the 3000 capacity always get a 4.5 K tank now honestly it's not a huge deal um, but 4500s they you know you don't have to refill as often I don't know about you guys but I've forgotten to fill up on air before and it kind of sucks well I had a 3000 tank and so I just I had to I missed I would miss games because I'd forget to I'd get, I forget to fill up on air in between games, like they don't last nearly as long. And this just kind of keeps that from happening, as well as, you know, I mean, obviously just the fact that it holds more and it's more, it, you can get, especially during a tournament or, you know, any kind of speedball game that you expect to use a lot of paint and go through a lot of pods, you don't want to have less air than everyone else. So yeah, that's the tank. Next up, you're going to want a good hopper. Now you'll notice this is a rotor, and it's not the normal color that rotors are. I custom painted this. Um, unfortunately, while I was painting it, I made a mistake, and it didn't come out looking nearly as nice as it was originally. Uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, rotors now, uh, I still I still would like to call them the best hopper on the market, and you can get them used for you know between seventy and eighty dollars, you know eighty five maybe. Uh, definitely check your local pro shop and see if they have a uh, rotor for $80-85 uh, and a lot of them sometimes will come with speed feeds because usually when somebody you know sells one or trades it in they've got their they left their speed feed on because if they're getting a new hopper or they're just getting out of the sport they don't need a speed feed anymore um, but if you can make sure you can get the lid from the owner unfortunately when I bought this he didn't have the lid so I kind of lost out on that which stinks because when it, when it rains, I don't have a lid. Uh, sometimes I'll put a plastic bag over it, but that's no fun. Other times I'll just suck it up and deal with it. But yeah, definitely you want to get a quality hopper. Um, like I said, you can get this for between like $70 and $85. And if you think about it, you can get a brand new Halo 2 loader for $70. Uh, for $70. And those aren't that good. They're huge, they're bulky, they're kind of known for breaking apart on the field. So, you just think about whenever someone says, oh, rotors are too expensive, and you can just get a Halo 2 for 70, that, you know, that feeds the right amount of balls, and yeah, sure it does, but it's, it's far more expensive than it should be, and when there's used rotors for the same price, why bother? Rotors, I've never had one break down on me. Like, the only time they'll ever break down on you is if you put, like, a rock in there. Um... These things, like if you've ever watched the dyes stress test on the rotors, it's insane. They uh, they put a blowtorch on the thing. They dunked it underwater. They like they they ran it underwater for like two minutes or something like that, and it, it just kept working. Like you can't stop the rotor. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Now if you've gotten your mask, and you've gotten your tank, and you've gotten your loader, you're ready for a gun. Uh, and also, depending on what you're doing, uh, that does decide the gun and the tank for you uh, and the hopper because some people like to play milsim and that's military simulation and you know that's that's where you might want like a die dam and then you're gonna want a box rotor instead of a, a rotor. Um, although I do see people run rotors and uh, the the box rotors. So yeah, uh, definitely consider what kind of what kind of paintball you're gonna be playing and whenever you're choosing a gun. Uh, but for me, I play speedball and I play woods ball. But, and what I like about you know speedball guns or tournament level guns is they work for both situations. Um, you, can, you can play speedball or you can play woods ball with a speedball gun, but you can't play speedball with a woods ball gun. So let's talk about what kind of gun you should get. Now I'm gonna do a review on this gun later, but this is my Evil Minion. Uh, I believe it is an 06. Uh, it's either that or an 07. There's only two years that these were made in. And uh, I really wish they hadn't stopped making them. But they did. Whatever. I'll get over it eventually. 
Uh, so let's talk about that. Now, you're like, you might be thinking, you know, why are you using the gun from 07? You know I have a DM-14. I don't need this gun from 07. But here's the thing. These guns, just because they're older, doesn't necessarily make them worse. Um, sure, they might have less features on them. But when you think about it, like, a lot of these guns are still, you know, performing at the same level. And especially a gun like this, the Evil Minion, these were these are still on par with DMs today. Um, they have a really great firing rate and, uh, you know, just overall really great performance. Uh, I actually, when I bought this, I got it a, a few weeks ago. I got the whole gun for $135, which is, honestly, I felt bad for the guy that I got it from. Like, that, that's a steal. Like, that's just wrong. Um, because not only is it a great gun, it actually has an OLED board on it too. And that just adds value. And uh, you will notice like this ray right here looks pretty new because the guy, uh, his tank had a ray. The, the, the guy who sold it to me had the tank attached to the ray so he couldn't give me both. So I had to go buy a new ray which cost me 40 but that's okay, 175 I should be able to sell this gun for like 250 or 200 if I wanted to. Uh, but you'll notice, I, I don't know if you can hear that, you should be able to. Uh, you know, obviously this gun meets the, the standards right now. It's got, it's on 12.5 PSP. Uh, so it definitely meets tournament standards. And when I bought it, I definitely went out and played speedball all day with it. And the guy who had it before me already had it tuned and everything. So it shot, it shot amazingly. And like this, this gun. I mean, I was I was competing with guys who had like a brand new GO. I was playing against a pro player. Like I, I was, you know, I was able to shoot on par with all of these guys who had newer guns and more skill than me. Not saying I'm bad, but you know, the gun doesn't make the player. And you definitely don't need to go buy a brand new gun if you're on a budget. And like I said, this is uh. This, this thing, I swear to God, outperforms a mini or an axe today. Sure, it doesn't have some of the luxuries. Like, I like the one thing I do like about axes is they have that nice little flip switch on the very bottom of their regs. And I think that's honestly way better than unscrewing this. Uh, that's honestly not a huge deal. Uh, the one problem I do have with this is when I got this reg installed, uh, you know, you'll notice the macro lines on the outside, which is, ugh, it's terrible. I like it to be in the middle. I might get it fixed eventually, but for now I'm kind of stuck like this. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you'll notice uh, this gun, it shoots better than minis. I, I have had a mini before. I sold it a while back. I don't, I, I didn't like it that much. I definitely, it's definitely a good starter gun, but uh, let me tell you, look for guns like this. The Evil Minion, old stuff like this. It sells for, you know, 100 or 200, and it's, you know, it's definitely on par with the, the modern gear. Uh, whereas, you know, minis and axes are too, but they cost 300 to $500. Uh, so when you're looking for older guns, you know, dig through the graveyard a little bit. It's like, that's how I'm going to put it. Because um, when I was shopping around for a DM, I saw like a DM, I think it was a 10 or 11. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with DMs. Uh, I love DMs and I love die. And it was like 200 bucks. Sweet. I almost bought that. And then my local dealer came to me with the DM-14 for 600 And I was like, all right, sweet, I'll take that. Because uh, it actually matches. I wear all red usually. Uh, and that actually matches what I do. So I was like, oh, never mind. I'll, just wear it. I'll, I'll take that from you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's beside the point. Uh, definitely, definitely find an older gun if you're on a budget. I don't, I like minis. I like axes, but I don't recommend... Getting those as your first gun if you can find something like this, like an old DM or an old Minion or old... I would, I would stay away from old Shockers, actually. Uh, but yeah, look around. You know, E-Techs are pretty cheap. Old Egos, old Geos. You know, just look for something older. They're not bad because they're old. All right, so that's all I'm going to say about the gun. You can always get a nice, fun barrel cover. Uh, but next thing... And honestly, I think my real last thing that a, a real paintballer needs, uh, besides soft goods, is a good uh, barrel swab. 
if you're if you like they don't cost much this is this is 15 bucks which is kind of high for a barrel swab you can get them for like 99 cents but this uh you know these will last upwards of a year and i've like these get everything out of my barrel on the first try there's no constant re-swabbing it's just in and out done uh so the last thing really for paintballers uh would be the soft goods and that's just jersey pants knee pads elbow pads and then maybe a head wrap if you count that uh, head wraps and headbands are good because they keep your hair down which is uh, somewhat important uh, mainly if you're playing speedball because if you've got really tall or you know poofy hair people can see that over the bunkers and they know where you are but uh really my next investment if i were you guys would be pants look for some good padded pants or if you want to go the ultra light route get the dye ultra lights and get some knee pads and wear those i mean i don't like to wear knee pads every day though so honestly i'd just get some dye core pants or empire or planet eclipse or exalt exalt thrashers those are really cool uh, i don't actually own a pair but i've heard uh for a hundred dollars they're a really high quality pair of pants that honestly i don't think they'll last as long as a pair of dye pants like i've got a pair of uh, liquid red C10s and I've had those since 2010 and there's not a single tear in them yet and they still look like they're brand new. So yeah, definitely make sure you get pants. And uh, when we go to jerseys, uh, jerseys aren't really necessary. A lot of people get jerseys to kind of try and prevent the pain, which, okay, yeah, maybe if you're a little younger, go ahead and get a jersey. But if you're my age, you know, you're around 18, 16, whatever, 15, you should be able to you should be able to stand a paintball hit, and that shouldn't be your primary reasoning to get a jersey. Uh, jerseys are more for tournament play; they're for bounces. Um, so instead of that, I'd recommend just getting a nice t-shirt or you know like a dry fit shirt, and then get some elbow pads. My favorite elbow pads, the Exalt Thrashers. That's what I use right now. Uh, they're like forty-five dollars, but right now I think they stopped producing them because I think they're about to come out with some new elbow pads. Uh, talk to the manufacturer. Uh, they're not in production anymore. You might be able to still find some on Amazon. That's where I got mine. Uh, but yeah, definitely get some pants and some elbow pads. And that's like the last thing you need, honestly. Um, and now, it, however, if you do find a really, really good deal uh, on stuff, like back in 2010 when I got all of my soft goods, I got these I-4s, my dye C10 pants, and a dye C10 jersey all for 220 bucks. And if you don't know, these are 150 alone. The pants are 190. So like that was, I was paying less than. I, I mean, I, I paid something like half the price. Uh, that was really amazing deal by die. I think they did it one more time after that. Um, when this video goes out, I think Virtue will still be doing their their Vios and Spire sale, 200 bucks for a pair of Vios and a Spire. I really wish I had the money right now because I would definitely buy it if I could. Not for the Vios, but for the Spire, really. Um, I would just sell the Vios, to be honest. Uh, Vios are great. They're just... Uh, they're like just... They're, they're, Vios are basically I-4s. Just more improved in some people's opinion, but I think I-4s are fine. But anyway, I hope that uh, helped you guys make some decisions. Uh, that's definitely the order you should do things in if you're on a budget and you're buying stuff for paintball. If you're not on a budget... Or if you're on a high budget and you got like 1500 bucks to spend, go high end, go new, and don't skimp on anything if you have that much money. Buy like a brand new Geo, get a mask, get some gear, you've got the money. Uh, so yeah, basically that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave any kind of comments or suggestions below and I will do my best to look at them and get back to you. Thanks guys.